Dr. Wen and welcome to Learning Hacks, the channel that's dedicated to help you improve your science grades. So in this session, we're going to be looking at your science specifications and how we can use these to help you improve your grades. So in part one, we'll look at what the different specifications are that are available and the differences between them. In part two, we'll go into a little bit more detail on how to use the specifications to guarantee those improvement in grades. And in part three, I'll be telling you how to get easy access to the specifications that are appropriate to the exam boards and the courses that you are following, whether that's Edexcel, AQA, OCR, or any of the IGCSEs. So please support me to help make more videos like this by hitting the subscribe button. And also if you hit the notification button, you will be notified when new videos are put up on a weekly basis. So let's get straight into this. So first part to improving your grades is knowing which course you are doing. You will either be doing separate sciences where you study biology, chemistry, physics as three separate science GCSEs, or you will be doing combined science where you will get two grades for studying biology, chemistry and physics together. Now, if you do combined science for AQA, it would either be synergy or trilogy. If you do combined science for Edexcel, it will be called GCSE combined science. And if you do the combined sciences for OCR, you would either do gateway science combined science A or 21st century science combined B. Now, the other alternative is that you might be studying the international GCSE. The content is exactly the same and it's set up in exactly the same way as well. So you either be doing the international GCSE as a combined science award or you'll be doing the international GCSE as the separate sciences. So that would be biology, chemistry and physics as three separate GCSEs. So make sure you have a look at your school website, you look at science and you know exactly which course it is that you are studying. Now that we know which course you're following, we will look into your specifications and your specifications may also be called your syllabus at school. To take you through how to use your science specifications, I will be using the AQA Combined Science Trilogy specification as an example. However, it makes no difference whether you are doing Edexcel, OCR or an IGCSE, all the specifications are set up with exactly the same information and the information can be accessed in exactly the same way. So once you know that you've got the right course and the right specification, if you scroll down um, to the first page, which would be the content page, what you will see is in the content page, you will be given all of the basic information. So you would have some kind of an introduction, it, you would have the specification at a glance, and then you would have some information on the content of the biology, chemistry and the physics part of your course. Now, if you're doing the separate sciences, this obviously would just be for the chemistry or just for the biology or just for the physics. Now, if we scroll back towards the top and we find the part where it tells us about the specification at a glance. So somewhere on the contents page, it will tell you about your subject content and assessments. So if we click on the assessments, this part here is quite important because what it does is it tells you for each of your examinations, um, if you're doing the combined sciences, it will be for biology paper one, biology paper two, then you would have chemistry paper one, chemistry paper two, and physics paper one and physics paper two. If you are doing your separate sciences, it will just be paper one and paper two for that particular topic. So either biology, chemistry or physics. Now, the key thing here is when you're looking at your biology paper one and your biology paper two, it specifically will tell you which topics will be examined for paper one and which topics will be examined for paper two. So if you know you have your paper one coming up and you were doing um, combined science trilogy, you would only revise cell biology, organisation, infection and response and bioenergetics. When you have your paper two, 
then you would make sure that you have revised homeostasis and response, inheritance, variation and evolution and ecology. So it, in a very, very simple way, it will split up all the different topics for your paper one and your paper two. So again, for chemistry, it tells you the topics you need to revise for your paper one and it tells you the topics you need to revise for your paper two. And again, the syllabus will do the same or the specification will do the same for your physics paper one and your physics paper two. Now, if you are doing Edexcel or OCR or your international GCSEs, it's exactly the same on the specifications for each of those courses. Now, if we go back to the content page, um, we will look at the second thing that is very important for students is actually going to be the, the, the actual content. So, for example, if we now look at biology and the key thing with the content page is if you actually click on any of these, it will be act as a shortcut and take you down to the pages which cover that particular topic. So, for example, if I needed to revise paper two and I needed to revise inheritance and variation, I would click on here and it would take me directly to that particular topic. If I wanted to revise my chemistry um, and I wanted to revise my atomic structure and periodic table, I would click here and it would take me straight to that particular topic. So let's have a go and see how this works out. So I've clicked on atomic structure and periodic table and it's taken me down to page 67, which is the start of that particular topic. Now, the key thing about the specification is we can see as we scroll down for each topic, it tells you exactly what you need to revise. So this is a list from the exam board telling you everything you need to know. So a good thing to do would be to use the specification as a revision list of all the things you need to know. And what I would do is if you're very close to your exams, I would look through the content and the things that I am not sure of, I would highlight or maybe put a post-it near them um, once you've printed out that, that particular topic content and make sure that you go over those particular things. So the areas that you're comfortable with, you could either highlight in one colour. So, for example, you could highlight in green, which indicates that you know those particular areas. For things that you're not sure of, you would maybe do amber. And for things that you know that you need to go over and you need to revise, you may want to highlight in a red colour. So you're kind of traffic lighting the things that you know, the things that you're not sure of and the things that you definitely need to go back and revise. The other key thing is because the specification is not separate for foundation and higher, anything that is only appropriate to the higher tier of the examination is indicated with HT. And that's the same with all the examination boards. So if there is a particular piece of content in there that's only for the higher tiered papers or the higher tiered students, then it has a HT next to it. And if you're doing the foundation, then that's something that you do not need to learn. Now, another thing that's really, really useful in the specification is somewhere in your specification, you will have um, a section where it tells you where your periodic table is. So you'll be able to see the version of the periodic table that you will actually get in your examination, but also the physics equations. Now, if I click on the physics equations here, and it's exactly the same on all the other exam boards, you will be given a list of the equations that you need to know. Now, if we look on this one, and this is for the AQA, it's exactly the same for the other exam board. We can see it says in, the, in solving quantitative problems, students should be able to recall and apply the following equations using standard SI units. So the first part, it's telling you these are the equations that you need to be able to recall. That means these are the equations that you have to learn. It also tells you that in this list, equations required for higher tier papers only are indicated by HT. So if you're doing foundation and you see anything in the specification with a HT, that is something that you do not need to know. 
obviously if you are doing the higher tiered paper then you will need to know those as well and here you can see you have all the equations that you need to learn you need to be able to recall and the higher tier ones are indicated with a ht but also what you would have is once you go past the ones that you have to recall you have to learn you are then given the second part of your equations so students should be able to select and apply the following equations from the physics equation sheets so that means you don't have to recall these equations, but you have to be able to use these ones. And you're given a list of all the equations that will be given to you in your exams or in your assessments. So to summarise the specification, your specification is um, your syllabus. So it tells you all the subject content. It tells you information to do with your assessments, what's included in your paper one, what's included in your paper two. It gives you information on the content of your biology, chemistry and your physics and it will tell you exactly what it is that you need to know and you need to learn. You will also have your periodic table and your physics equation sheet. Now, before I tell you how to access all the specifications easily, please support me by hitting the subscribe button so I can carry on making more videos to help you get the best possible grades. So to access all the specifications, if you scroll down to the bottom of the description of this video, I have linked in the specifications for AQA, Edexcel, OCR and the IGCSEs. Hope you found this useful and hope to see you again in some more of my learning videos.